Hello, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to work with a very useful tool in 3D LUT Creator, which is called Look Manager. Surely, many advanced users have collected such a large number of LUTs that it has become difficult to navigate them. If you have too many LUTs, you will have two problems. First, you may forget what kind of effect is achieved by each specific LUT. Second, it is also not clear how they will affect your working image or movie. Therefore, sometimes you have to sequentially apply LUTs one by one to choose the right effect. Look Manager was created especially to solve those problems. For those of you who do not yet have your own LUT collection, don't be sad because the 3D LUT creator comes with a whole LUT library. But first things first. You can open Look Manager in 3D LUT Creator via the window menu Look Manager. By default, it opens in the Home LUT folder that comes with the program. I open the Creative folder and get a preview gallery of the LUTs in this folder. For convenience, I expand the window to full screen. In the upper left corner of the window, there are control buttons. Let's increase the thumbnail's images to make the effects of LUTs more clearly visible. Note that the LUTs that come with the program are divided into LUTs for working with sRGB profile images or REC709 and the images with log profile. In addition to thumbnail size controls in the look manager, there is a button to quickly go to the home folder. When you click on it, you will go to the program LUT folder and there is a button to go to the favorite LUT folder which can be set by opening any folder in the look manager and clicking on the button while holding the shift key. Also, you can specify the favorite LUT folder in the program preferences. The last button is used to move up to the parent folder from the current folder. So let's choose any LUT and apply it to our image. Now I close the look manager. LUT is loaded as program preset because it was created in 3D LUT Creator and has built-in data. Also, you can apply it as an external LUT. To enable this setting, which is disabled by default, you can go to the Program Settings window and uncheck Load External 3D LUTs as Presets, if possible. I open Look Manager and choose the LUT. Now it is loaded in the External LUT section. I come back to the Program Settings and re-enable this option. I load the external LUT again. Let's see what has changed. The opening of 3D LUTs as program presets has several benefits. First, you can quickly and flexibly change LUT settings to fit your needs by working with tools that were used for initial correction. In this case, for example, I don't like the color of the dress and I can easily change it with a grid. To achieve the color harmony, I make the dress turquoise. Here is the before and after. The second reason to load external LUTs as program presets is that it helps you understand how the program tools work. Let's choose other LUT. For example, this one. In this case, you can see what changes the grid does if you bend it this way. And if you don't like the result, you can adjust the LUT in the program and then save it for future use. Let's open the folder that contains the program's LUTs. This folder is called Presets. It contains other folders with LUTs divided by categories. These LUTs are supplied with the demo version of the program and can be loaded into other applications such as Photoshop or video editors. To do this, you need to know where the LUT folder of your application is located. Let me show you this on an example with Photoshop. My Photoshop LUTs folder is located here. I copy several LUTs that create certain color harmonies from the 3D LUT Creator library to the Photoshop LUT folder. Now I run Photoshop. Load our image. Create a color lookup adjustment layer and choose our LUT from a list. Here they are. Here is the before and after. So it is necessary to remember that in the Look Manager you can view the LUT libraries of the other applications. Let's take as an example the LUTs that come with DaVinci Resolve. I open the Look Manager and paste the path to DaVinci LUT folder. 
I open the Film Looks folder and apply one of the LUTs to our image. And we get such an image with an extremely enhanced contrast because DaVinci LUTs were designed to work with video in the log profile. Of course, you cannot load them as program preset, but you can watch the lesson on how to decompose any external 3D LUT on curves and HSL components in the program 3D LUT creator. The link to this lesson is below. I hope that after this video, you will freely work with such a useful tool as Look Manager that creates thumbnails gallery of your images based on your LUT libraries. That's all. Put likes if this video was useful to you and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.